e-readers making videos. And find student voice. Hi, I'm Mr. Gustafson from Greenwood Elementary School in Minnesota, and I'm here with some super creative kids, and we're actually here to celebrate creativity using a squiggle. A squiggle may be just look like an ordinary line, but with your imaginary and creativity, you can make this ordinary line into, into something. Anything. Like what? Like a dragon. Or a bird. So Keith, a bird? How do you see a bird there? Start a <laughs> All right, thanks. This is going to be exciting. You're right, Mr. V. This is really exciting. Let's see what the Greenwood Kids turns as quick as them do. Bring it on! I see a, a bird. A big dragon. dragon. Destroying a city. A big bird. bird. Was it a penguin? A, a Pegasus. Dragon. A rainbow. A uh, big tide. Yeah, big tide. Ninja in the. <laughs> a ninja. A cowboy and a cowgirl. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A big uh, witch. An angry cook. A dinosaur. dinosaur. I can't believe all of those things started out as squiggles. How cool is that? Awesome. <laughs> oh my goodness, this has been such a celebration of creativity. Should we see what the kids on the East Coast can do with their creativity? Get Where's your squiggle, squiggle on! Hello, my name is Tony Sinanis, and I'm the lead learner here at Kaniac Elementary School in Jericho, New York, which is a suburb of New York City. And I'm really excited because we participated in a nationwide art experience dealing with the squiggle. Hi, my name is Sarah, and we get, got to participate in the squiggle project. We got to make I don't, um, this, this squiggly slime thingy, and we got an opportunity to make something else out of it. I don't know. What did you make? Antlers. Cool. Hi, my name is Brendan, and this is another example of the squiggly line thing. I enjoy doing this because we got to get out of math. Awesome. Hey, my name is Evelyn, and this is another example of a squiggly line thing project. This what? one's cool because you can look at it both ways. Evelyn, did you have fun with this project? Uh, yeah, because it was creative and really fun to do. Awesome. Thank you. Hello, my name is Audrey, and this is another example of someone who made, who someone participated in the Squiggly and Line project. So, Audrey, did you have fun with this? Yes, I had a lot of fun be, be, because it was very creative, and you, you can use your creativity to make something out of these squiggle lines. Awesome. Hi, my name is Shiv. And my name is Darian. And here are two more examples of the squiggle project. And we have a challenge for all you people out in our big world. We want all of you to make a squiggly line project. And when you do, make sure to post it on hashtag StuConnect. Thank you for joining us. Here's one last example from a kid that doesn't even go to our school. So the Squiggle Project is spreading throughout New York. Guys, what do you have to say? Peace, Peace out from the Big Apple. Apple. Now let's see what our friends from Jersey did. Hi, my name is John Fritzke, and I'm the assistant principal here at the Byram Intermediate School. I'm here with some amazing students who did a great job with their Squiggle Projects. Yeah! yeah. Hi, I'm Dylan, and I made um, a man with four arms. Uh, get off me! Hi, I'm Jordan, and I made a seahorse. Hi, I'm Haley, and I made a surfer girl. Calabunga. Hi, I'm Rebecca, and I did a tree with a bunch of animals. Hi, I'm Sam, and I made my squiggle into a penguin. Yes. Hi, my name's Jacob, and I made a guy with a random big blue eye. Hi, I'm Kelly, and I made my squiggly line into a purse. Since swimming. Hi, I'm Paul, and I made my squiggle into a Godzilla! We want people around the world to join in on the fun, so check out this website. Prepare to get your squiggle on!